but then the push rods they give you with it are no good. So this came out of a great plans kit for a different airplane with heavier linkages and a better, you know. I as you that on all mine changing because I just don't like the Chinese. Uh, oh yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> as you can see, it already has yeah. up elevator in there. And it needs it because it just. Wow. Now, center of gravity, last time we flew it with Fred, you went into a flat spin. At low, low, oh, okay. low speed, and it, it, it went. You know, and luckily, that saved the airplane, believe it or not, because it was just too far, the center of gravity was too far back. Now, I had the center of gravity set at what the book said, so what we knew is that it really needed to come forward. I have adjusted it forward about, about three quarter inch or so. <coughs> also, these were really hot, so I, I've added the heat sinks. Bruce, did this actual aircraft fly once before? It did. I flew this with Fred here at the club once. And I, it, it crashed, but it crashed so mellowly there was no damage. It did a flat spin and landed over there real close to the water, but we got lucky. So after that, I, I re remanufactured it. I actually flew it one other time off the grass, and I bent the gear, and it broke off the uh, wings. <laughs> now we're hearing more of the And it, it became epoxy together. So it's actually flown twice, but it's never flown like this. I believe this to be the correct configuration and that it will actually fly properly. But again, you know how, <laughs> you just never know wow. with this stuff. So this, this took a little bit of custom engineering. I flew it first on 3S, but it wasn't enough power. On 4S, it was making good power, but everything got too hot. So I didn't went with a Castle Creations um, parallel adapter to spread the load. These are my batteries? Yeah. They're uh, 2700 milliamp, Ooh, 25 wow, nice. Cs. Bruce, as you prep here, I just want to say one last word for the video and I w to wish you a, a great voyage of this aircraft and a safe landing. May it, may it uh, be everything you hope for. Thank you, Johnny. And hopefully this isn't the last video of this plane. Yeah, we hope not. <laughs> as you can see, it's, it's a lot just to get the batteries into the... I'm that. taking, I'm in taking a good well, picture, yeah. though. Okay. Correct model. Throttles down. Trends are set. Gear is up at the moment. So, let's we'll start with this one, I guess. This is actually the long lead, so I'm going to go with that one. There's my black, there's my red. From this moment on, guys, you know, just be aware that uh, it's quite safe, but it is live. So, just be aware of that. Nothing will happen on the second one, it's just extra power going into, into, the, into the works. Okay. I see you have a few switches in a normal position. You know that in the right spot. Yes, we're on, we're on high rates at the moment. Yeah, I and I want that for takeoff. Yeah. Probably landing, don't know about that. And then the last little thing we'll do here real quick. Well, actually, it's not really the last, but we may as well test control. So, up elevator. Down elevator. Doesn't have rudder, except on the nose gear. So that is a right bank. Split, yeah. That's a left bank. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, just do a quick power test. <laughs> Got power. Now it's gear down. Okay. Okay, last check, guys. And then so someone's going to be on the timer for me. That's really the most critical thing. I got the timer. I've got a timer here too. I'll set it before we fly. Would you? I'm sorry, I didn't get your name. John. John Bruce here. <laughs> Would Bruce. you like to back me up on this? Bruce here. <laughs> uh, what do you mean by back you up? I don't know. Just you can stand behind me oh, and uh, sure. That's give me some advice. That's too fast for me to even. <laughs> sure. I'll be okay, happy guys. to. Okay, guys. Wow. Okay, I am ready for a three-minute. Here we go. Warning. Yeah. Even if I go through the water, I think it's better.